Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor back from Menu Docs, and today I'm going to talk about it's not actually about Discord.js exactly. Um, you'll see in the last video I uploaded, episode 1 of the Discord.js tutorials, you'll see that I created a bat file. Now, I didn't exactly show you how to create one of these inside the tutorial itself. It just kind of appeared out of nowhere, and inside the file it has a, hold up, let me drag it on, it has no dot. Uh, sorry node index.js and then a pause um, I'm just gonna show you how to make this today so um, I guess we'll make it in here so what you want to do is you want to create a new text document now it has to be a, um, a basic one it can't be any of those rich text um, word documents or anything like that um, you just want a plain notepad and obviously notepad will come with Windows um, if you're on Mac I'm not entirely sure what you can use I'm pretty sure it's just a text editor um, we're just going to name this uh, test for the moment and basically what we're going to do is open it. So obviously um, what you want to do is you'll see here that when you run the bot itself you'll type in this inside the console and that's basically what we want to do. So we add that in there and that is what's going to run in the console when we click on the file. So when we click on the file it activates the console and then runs the code that's inside here. And then we, what we're going to do here is add a pause so that if it breaks or anything like that or say we close the file or other stuff, undefined stuff, um, it just means it's going to pause. So it stops it. Um, a pause inside a console, it, you'll see if you remember, if you know what I mean, it just says uh, click any key to continue, something like that. Uh, what we're going to do is obviously do that. We're going to close that. And then the test, we're going to save as. We're going to go here. We're going to change it to all files. Make sure it's this ANSI on more updated versions of Windows. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I use uh, Windows 7 because I'm a pleb and outdated. Um, but we're just going to call this um, the start uh, underscore bot underscore test. Um, and you want to add dot bat after. So anything you write here it doesn't matter but here you have to add the dot bat on the end and um, if you see here it will see that it's like the windows settings kind of thing and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit save so if we close this and open this now go into tutorial bot you'll see that it now is uh, turned from this into this and uh, when we run this it will do the exact same thing run the tutorial bot and it should come up with yep the bot is online Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I appreciate it, um, if you want to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below what you want to see next, I'll help you guys out, uh, this has been Connor from Menu Docs, and I'll see you guys in the next one, thank you.